round and round this could be feeling like things are not getting better almost like you're visiting the same situation if there's something that you're struggling with to maybe pass um and then you have um orphaned so maybe feeling left out uh, not quite fitting in perhaps uh, even a sense of uh, insecurity or loneliness is upon you and then not for you and this one came out as I shuffled I pre-shuffled so um, not for you there's something that maybe you truly desire and maybe want but it may not be the right thing so maybe that's why you're not getting it and maybe that's why you feel like you're going around um, and the message in a bottle so per perhaps this is communication for you uh, coming in from whatever it is that you're waiting for. I feel like you're waiting for something with this message in a bottle. Um, and I do feel that you'll get that that uh, message to either move from something or to get over something or um, maybe realize that something isn't for you. And that way, once you do that, once you accept something like that, you're allowed to move o over um this round and round energy in other words move out of it is what i'm trying to say so welcome i do hope you're doing well i hope you're staying healthy and safe and rested up i feel a lot better today i was just so tired from the weekend yesterday i feel a little bit today as well but not so much um at the bottom of the deck is go the distance and then come to the edge and this is another one that kept sh coming out with the not for you so with the come to the edge, it's it's almost as if taking that leap of faith. Is it having something to do with love? Is it something doing with self-love for yourself? Um, that's a good question. So let's see what these mean for you guys. What is round and round? Card 25. It's time to be um, planning how to get yourself out of something that you feel that you're going around and round in. And that's definitely a sense of... Um, things not changing or maybe feeling antsy about no changes okay um 25 card 25 you have the queen of swords so is someone not hearing what you're you're speaking or are you not not getting what someone else is speaking um let's see queen of swords so you got the knight of cups the lovers the three of swords and this is an ever-ending story, I feel. Um, let's see, and then what is this one? The moon. So maybe feeling a little bit confused, maybe a little vulnerable with feelings. There could be a third-party situation or some kind of really heart-breaking um, kind of news that you've had or um, maybe a separation or uh, just a really bad bout of depression with the Three of Swords and the moon but i feel like here with the queen of swords and the nine of cups it is someone not listening to you um i do see an offer being made maybe this is an offer as far as a choice to be made with the lovers on whether you choose one situation or another could this be involving like maybe two places of work or maybe two different um relationships or two different people that you're trying to maybe decipher um, which one you want let's see what is the queen of swords i did say the tower so something ending with the queen of swords i do feel like this queen of swords it's got that energy of um deaf ears you know you might be spilling your guts with somebody and they're not quite getting it and it causes a sense of instant instability with the tower there what is the knight of cups knight of cups please it's somebody almost as if um with the knight of cups um not recognizing something um seven of swords uh there's some sort of trickery there like i heard not recognizing are they not recognizing that um perhaps you don't want to stay with them or whoever it is that you're conveying to is not really quite understanding what it is you're saying maybe you want to end something um knight of knight of cups and the seven of swords as well is uh have you caught somebody cheating and you sort of turn the other turn the other cheek and 
it's almost like eating at you. I feel like it's eating at you, whatever this is here. Um, the lovers, please. The lovers. What is the lovers? What is the lovers? Um, the, the world. So whatever this is, it's an opportunity to change something. It's an opportunity to make a choice of something and to get a new beginning out of this choice, okay? Three of Swords, do you stay in this sadness and not paying attention to things? Because this could be you sticking your head in the sand and not noticing things that are happening. Is that why the Seven of Swords is there? Um, that could be true for some of you, but you got the, the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Wands. Okay, so there's that definite answer. It's almost as if you're stuck on this person, but you're with this person. You don't want to be with this person, and you might have said this to them, but they still are sort of like, oh, I'm not hearing what you're saying. I'm still going to carry on in this a bad situation, this bad foundation, whatever that is. But the truth is that you are stuck on the Queen of Wands and this is definitely stuck with the Ten of Swords. Um, it causes a lot of pain because I feel that with this situation here, this is where you want to be, but you're not allowing yourself to be there. And it causes a great pain of sadness and depression, pain, really pain. What is the moon right here, the moon? And this is something that it keeps going around and around. I get it. Like, it does come out. Um, I think that we're all dealing with something like this or else we wouldn't be here. And it's almost as if stories are similar but not yet the same. But it's like somebody who keeps, they're on this wheel, but they don't want to be on it. You see, with the lovers and the world, um, definitely the truth here. Maybe you need to speak the truth to somebody because if you don't speak that truth... You're going to be stagnant there for a while. The moon. What is the moon? Is it you that turned the deaf ear even though you know you, sh you should face it? Um, these are questions that are coming up. So let's see. The moon, the judgment, and the magician. And those are two majors. Those are very influential cards with the magician and the judgment. This is really um, needing to take some kind of courage or strength for yourself to maybe release any of the karmic lessons that you've dealt with instead of keep going around in circle and circle and repeating the same cycles and not, you know, maybe refusing to let them go with the judgment card. It's almost as if you've got to let go of that worry, that fear, maybe manipulation from another. Once you let go of that manipulation, you'll have a second start with the judgment there. And the judgment is really releasing things. Um, maybe you have to release your ego to be able to um, handle a situation and make a choice to maybe end this cycle that you're in. It's a, quite a vicious cycle, I feel, um, because it really pains me to even say that, you, you know, you might be in this situation and you're just over it. And it's a fake, you know, sort of fake kind of stuff going on. But your heart lays over here. And it's really like a painting, pain, painting kind of pain. Mm. I'm sorry, pining. They're saying pining, pining kind of pain. Um, <clears throat> like I feel it very excruciating, okay? Um, what is a Ten of Swords? What's the Ten of Swords here? The Ten of Swords is great because that is almost to an end. It's where maybe you're having the realization like, God, you know, I can't continue to stay stuck like this and continue to live any kind of life, really. Um, I feel that the Queen of Cups, the Chariot, and the Devil answering for the Ten of Swords, it's almost as if this is really where you have to take some kind of initiative and follow your intuition, follow the guidance that's coming to you, definitely having self-love for you to put you on a balanced kind of state of mind, and really maybe the Devil is that bad energy with the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Swords that maybe makes you think that you can't move out of it or worried or is um maybe you're overindulging in something that's not giving you clarity and allowing you to use that force and that free will to move you into the direction that you want okay um whatever the situation is for you if it is love affairs it's very painful okay um i do feel like something has to end with the tower the three of swords 
the seven of swords and the ten of swords that's very sticky and it might just be coming it's like being served to you over and over regardless of how much you think you've taken care of it or handled it or faced it it's still there it's still lingering um you know and like i said if, it, if it's um <clears throat> if it's work related then you've got to make a choice between you know maybe being your own boss or finding a different job or maybe you know standing up for yourself and leaving a negative relationship that you're not really happy in um whatever that is for you if you don't take a stand and be the magician and really somehow surrender to something it's almost as if you continue on that path of heartbreak and sadness and confusing kind of um, moments. Um, what is the devil? Let's see. What is this devil? You, you, okay, eight of wands. So you really are tied to the person that you're in love with. Okay. Um, I feel there's one specific person that really does it for you. Um, I feel that the rest really do not come anywhere near that's why you feel very orphaned you feel very left alone lonely left out um sad okay but with the devil it's almost as if you want to maybe reach out or take action or even communicate okay with something that is so um attached to you okay it could be a twin flame could be a soulmate so I do see action taken over this. Is it action to release the devil energy of some kind of manipulation or some kind of um, bad habit or, you know, alcohol or drug abuse or something like that? Okay. Uh, what is orphaned? Card five. So there are changes. There are changes being made. Changes are about that conflict, that um, kind of betrayal or... Um, things that you just seem to think that you're never going to get over, but you really do. You can. You have the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Are you working to be single? Are you working to be free from this devil energy? Something that's very toxic? I feel like you're working on some kind of success for yourself. Maybe this is a freeing of, of negativity, negativity for oneself with the devil. The Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Um, I definitely do feel you're missing. I think that this missing is causing you to maybe look at something different or maybe make a change. Maybe stand up and speak up for what you really want. Um, what is the Eight of Pentacles? The Eight of Pentacles, please. Five of Swords. You're working on that surrender. The same thing as the Judgment. You're working on it. And what is the Nine of Pentacles? The Nine of Pentacles, please. What is the Nine of Pentacles? So, communication, opening up, um, speaking the truth, a guidance. Uh, you're being guided to this. Uh, there's definitely a sense of movement and action. Uh, also, a sense of clearing things up. Like, if, if things have been really, you know, foggy and full of miscommunication and misunderstanding, it's almost like you can work yourself into clearing the air, okay? with the page of swords perhaps towards a new beginning and what is the not for you not for you please what's the not for you um anything toxic anything manipulating the throat is a little itchy it wants to cough but um i don't know why i feel like it's closing in a little bit you got your wish fulfillment so something that you're wishing for what is that wish please with the nine of cups what is the wish and they're saying it's not for you for whatever reason. Um, the Strength card, the Hierophant, and the Ace of Wands. Maybe you're fearing that this is not, like, you're not enough for this situation. Or that you're never going to get the situation done. Um, I feel with the Orphan, that the not for you coming out together. It's almost a sense of you are feeling like like you're not worth enough. Like your wish is never going to be fulfilled because you don't you're not strong enough. You're not smart enough. Uh, is this something that you've been led to believe with the Hierophant? It's a belief. Um, 
Is it that you don't believe that this could happen for you? Are you not worthy? Um, so I feel that the not enough or not for you is coming down. It's based from this person who maybe doesn't think good about themselves. Um, what is the Nine of Cups? Very interesting. Nine of Cups. You're not seeing the big picture, Lisa. Um, you got the Five of Cups. I'm sorry, the Five of Pentacles. So you're feeling victim mentality right there. Okay? Uh, like, everything's happening to you. And, you know, maybe things are your fault. Or um, things are not going right. But the Death card. Okay, so this attitude. This facade that you're carrying. Spirit is saying, get over it. It's not, it's not for you anymore. Okay? You got the Six of Swords. It's like... So many things have happened to you and it gets you back to square one. When are you going to learn to get off of it? And in other words, whoever this is, they're thinking bad about themselves. But in reality, they're keeping themselves from healing with the nine of wands. Um, and don't shoot the messenger because they sort of said it with a sort of authority today. And typically my guides are not like that. So they must be feeling antsy um, for whatever reason. Uh, I do feel like there is a sense of you know, stop thinking that things, bad things are happening to only you. Um, you could be thinking a lot of negative stuff and you're attracting a lot of negative things to you, which make you feel like a victim, but in reality, you're not. That's the nicest way I can say it, that they're, they're saying. What is the Nine of Wands? It's almost somebody who, <clears throat> you, you don't go the full steps. You want, you want all this peace and serenity and love and, you know, happiness but you're not taking the steps to do it. And that's definitely what I feel with the Four of Cups. Um, you got to break that pattern. With the Death card, perhaps this is where you'll get your wish fulfillment to break that. To get the courage and the strength to move out of something where you just don't feel worthy. It might be because either whoever's in your environment or whoever you grew up with just put you down on a low pedestal. And you sort of carry yourself on a low pedestal. Okay? Um... I want to know what is the Hierophant? What's the Hierophant here? So this is where Spirit will guide you out of this. Whatever this feeling is. And these refuse to go back in. So I guess they want to stay out. The Ace of Pentacles. This is where you have the key. With the Hierophant, you have the key to switch this. Whatever has been taught to you. Whatever has been told about you. Whatever you feel about yourself. It's not true. You have, you have the Ace of Pentacles. You have the Ace of Cups and you got the King of Wands. So hallelujah. And there's the Ace of Wands. So you got, um, and you got the Ace of Swords up here somewhere, I believe, right here. So you got all Aces. You're really well equipped to start a new, to start over for you. The Ace of Swords is that truth and clarity, but you got to cut out some stuff. You got to somehow rise to the occasion and really maybe end something. And that end end would really take you off of a cycle in other words okay that repeating cycle you have to voice it really to get that new beginning it could be a new beginning in love or it could be a new beginning as far as <clears throat> your intuition and things that you want to build for yourself like um intuitively knowing where to go or even building a company or um you know moving out of a, a place that you don't like or even just new ideas, okay? So you, you're really well equipped, but it's almost as if the mind might be holding you back. But I do like that the King of Wands is in with this, with three of these, um, two of these aces. It's, it's almost like you're taking charge to change something, maybe about money, maybe how you feel about money, and to really bring in a sense of authenticity with the Ace of Cups. So a new beginning, really. And I do feel like you hold the key um, to perhaps change this about yourself. I think that with the Four of Cups and the Not For You, maybe you're realizing you're over this sort of place where you haven't really co coexisted. You sort of just been sort of cast aside and really maybe not noticed or not wanting to be noticed, maybe. Okay, what's the Four of Cups? What is the Four of Cups? What's the Four of Cups here? The King of Pentacles. Um, you really could be held back because maybe, you know, you don't think you're you're wealthy enough. Maybe money has been a bigger a bigger priority for you. Um, 
this could be a father that wants a divorce and doesn't quite know how to get it because of the children okay um definitely is what i got there what is the message in the bottle message in the bottle so the knight of wands and the three of pentacles really using a drive some kind of force is pushing you to work on something i feel that spirit i feel that spirit has seen you somewhat wallow in you know thinking you're not good enough or thinking that you can't attain your goals or being kept under manipulation maybe of others um who don't let you grow emotionally and spiritually i feel like this is spirit really saying okay well now it's time to work on that foundation now it's turn it's time to weed out the ones that don't work on your foundation uh you could have many surround you that are not doing anything for you as far as building and expanding you um you know that that you have to take it as it resonates it is general um but the knight of wands is really a sense of taking that action and working on it you know doing it um instead of dragging your feet about it it's almost like you have some kind of fire lit under you and you're doing it okay um so maybe this is where you get that message maybe the message of a new job a message that you've been approved to move um into a new building a new home maybe buying a new home um this is where maybe you're waiting for an emotional message to come in okay what is the knight of wands um are you waiting for your lover are you waiting for your lover to come back um you got the ten of pentacles with the knight of wands so that's really taking action on some kind of success something that's going to bring you independence um it brings you everything that you truly want it could be also let's see what's well, let's see what's come out with the ten of pentacles the justice the three of wands the four and the king of swords okay so this also could be you moving on something that's been happening over and over and over with the round and round meaning something that you've placed yourself in for so long many years said that i think you could be maybe um either getting a divorce putting an end to something um also in a sense where your karmic justice is coming in where you've gotten that sour apple all the time and now it's almost like turning for you to get your reward. Um, I do feel like this is where you see things going. I feel like this is where you're manifesting yourself to perhaps surrender to taking that leap of faith uh, for something new. Okay. And this definitely brings you that sense of materializing everything that you need. Uh, manifesting. Like manifesting everything that you need. Everything you've been waiting for. Everything that you sort of put yourself aside you i feel this is somebody who's cast themselves aside cast themselves aside and not really had anything come to them and now it's time i do feel with the king of swords you have this knowledge you have some sort of uh, opening for a change here really um i want to know how does the story end for today and right away the wheel of fortune see you, you know the truth you know that you can move yourself out of loss and i think that it's a hard time for you to let go of these things the orphaned the the orphan feeling the things that keep coming around the things that spirit keeps telling you they're not for you don't pay attention to those things it's almost like once you acknowledge those things new things will come in and they really make you stronger um very fortunate very lucky um what else can you tell me about the ending for this story and then the nine of cups of so getting that wish fulfillment you got a wish fulfillment before and you let it go and it left you lost you're getting it again it's almost like because destiny is taking control of things for you you're getting things that maybe you might have wished for a long time ago and they didn't happen perhaps because you've been in that stagnant kind of energy and not accepting not accepting reality and not seeing the things that could come for you okay uh we saw the moon there you could have sort of been out to lunch not really paying attention <clears throat> let's see here what else okay so knight of pentacles that's good pretty good with the five of wands this is ending some kind of conflict 
this is where everybody else is sort of taming down. This might be your opportunity to override any kind of negativity that your environment is, is casting onto you. Um, what do I mean by that? People who are usually difficult, they might be distracted by other things where you can get things done, you know? Things that have created a lot of conflict. And this is definitely justice. This is karmic balance. This is divorcing. This is some kind of legalities, but that turn out in your favor, okay? So don't lose hope of those legalities because I do feel the will is sort of shifting to, to your favor, finally, okay? Um, <clears throat> so let's see here. Okay, what can you show me about this reading? What can you show me about this reading, please? What can you show me? Okay, so you have a doctor, so maybe the health is improving. Maybe you've been seeing somebody, a counselor, maybe even a lawyer to help you, okay? Work, maybe your work is moving, maybe you're building. Um, this is definitely, it needs some kind of structure or stability um, with the work, okay? Uh, the, the friend, Maybe you're getting a gift from somebody, a surprise visit perhaps, and then some sort of loyalty and truth coming in. Um, and this is really a sense of waiting and the prisoner and the, the enemy, the frenemy. Okay, so you're the, you're your worst critic. You're your... You're, you're, you could be holding yourself back, thinking that you're an enemy and somebody doesn't want to speak to you or someone won't pay you the attention that you really desire. Um, there's really a sense of you being the worst enemy, okay? So maybe this is what you're trying to release as far as not listening to maybe the stereotypes that have been told to you throughout your whole life about who you are. Um, I feel like this is you coming out of that, okay? Uh, give me one more. Give me one, one more for the enemy. Um, you're the worst enemy. You are your own worst enemy. They keep saying. Okay, so... This one. Okay, yeah. Either somebody in your environment is being fake to you. You could be being fake to yourself with the Seven of Swords, especially, and the prisoner and the enemy. Um, you definitely could be... <clears throat> I think you have a knowing of it. I think that you need to release that kind of energy. Whether this is somebody that's been holding on to you or a situation that's just sort of stuck to you like glue. Um, this is where you stand up and you be true to yourself and you work. So maybe you are getting some kind of counseling or some kind of some kind of revival is happening with you and you're getting help. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so let's see. What are the words of love? What are the words of love for today, please? The words of love. Maybe you're starting to forgive yourself as well. Okay. Is what they said. Because I'm shuffling. Um, so you have friendliness. You are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections. Detachment. You are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your thought, your highest ideals of love. Um, elevation. You are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love and release. You have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe and creativity. You love to devise new ideas, innovatives, and forms of illumination. So this is really, I feel like spirit's really moving you to do things. Things that you might have, um, you know, you've been dragging your feet about and throws you into the same sort of cycles, you know. What is the angel message? Okay. So you have Carissa. You are at the end of the cycle in your life. Call on your angels to comfort you and guide you to the next step. Happiness awaits you now. So keep asking those angels. I do feel like they're they're working for you. You have to have faith and trust. It's almost like jumping off the cliff and just know that there is a safety net. They're waiting for you. You have to have that trust, you know. 
And I feel like that's what that's all about is trusting something. So let's see. What is the Kuan Yin for today? What is the Kuan Yin? What is the Kuan Yin for today? Okay, this one here. And it says, grace within reach. It's okay to feel like a mess right now. To feel that you need help and want to resolve whatever has troubled your heart or mind. My grace is within reach. As you ask for my help, I shall lift you into safety and peace now. So maybe that's what you need to ask your angels for. Definitely is what it feels like. Okay, one last deck. I want to know. Okay, well, they didn't let me ask. They sort of shut them out. So let's see. These are the romance angels. Let's see what they gave you. <clears throat> okay. I was going to ask what's coming in for love for you guys. So let's see. Oh, a wedding. This involves a wedding. Could be that you're getting married or it could be you're releasing vows. Okay. Take it as it resonates. And then um, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So there is a kindred spirit here. There is a twin flames here. Um, and then express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture and it is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive with the highest energy of all. I feel like that says it all, definitely. Um, <clears throat> beautiful. I do feel like, you know what, keep your head up. And really, if you have to let go of something, let go of it so you can start anew. That's the best healing energy, really. So there you go. I do hope you like the reading. Thank you so much for reaching out and just watching and liking and sharing. And stay safe and healthy. I'll